be sure to tune into Sunrise every football Friday for your chance to score a pair of tickets to the next UH home game. If you're not one of the lucky weekly winners, you can always pick up the phone and call 944 Bows to get good seats. Well, it's time for a trip down memory lane. This week, you had a chance to talk to former Rainbow Warrior Brian Derby. Yeah, I mean, he was a great offensive lineman for Hawaii in the 80s, and has since gone on to be successful in two other fields. I could talk more about it, but after speaking with him, I think I'll just let him tell the story. My name is Brian Derby. I uh, played for the University of Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, 1981 to 85, under uh, Coach Dick Tomey. I've uh, been in a firehouse, uh, fire department, with the Honolulu Fire Department, uh, going on 25 years. After playing four years in college, Brian Derby found that his new career as a firefighter coincided perfectly with his love of football. And we all work together. It's a team concept. We drill, we practice, we do everything that we need to do. So when we have alarms, um, we can do the alarms to the best of our ability. So it's, it's, it's very similar to uh, uh, coaching and playing. You have to prepare yourself for the game. In the firehouse, you have to prepare yourself for the, for the fire, for the medical, for whatever emergency that we may have. While he's a full-fledged captain in the department, Derby always managed to stay close to the sport he loves. Stay inside, shoot your hands, run them up the field. For the past 17 years, he's been running an offensive lineman camp free of charge. And some of his near 3,500 students include pros Vince Manuai, Olin Krutz and both Riola brothers. And seeing that and knowing that I had a little piece of that success, you know, that's my goal is to, is to take these kids and, and to make them something that everyone tells me they can't. They're not big enough. They're too slow. You know, they're not strong enough. They don't have the heart. I like that because I, I like to take those kids and make them successful. Whether he's on the field or in the firehouse, Derby is a natural coach and ever proud to have worn the green and white. Hey, if you missed a block, yeah, you're gonna hear it from me. You know, you, you don't put effort out on the field, you're gonna hear it from me. In here, it's the same way. You know, I, I look at it as, as an injury type of thing where, you know, I don't want nobody getting hurt, you know, on my watch. I don't want anybody uh, dying, uh, running to the pump. It's always a rainbow warrior, man. Rainbow Warrior then, Rainbow Warrior now, Rainbow Warrior when I die. Very well said. You always got to love the guys in the trenches. Yeah, absolutely. And just talking with him is so much fun. You can tell he really loves his craft. He said that the offensive lineman, that is the real skill position. <laughs> <laughs> Very well said. Well, and speaking of which, next week we'll catch up with our former colleague, Sean Ching, and find out what he's doing now that he's put football and broadcasting behind him. Yeah, that's going to do it for tonight's show, though. Special thanks to Rich Miano. Brian Derby and UH coaches Durante Jones and Phil Rauch. And thanks to you for staying up with us. We'll see you again next Sunday night. All right, hopefully after UH beats Oregon State. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> see ya. See ya.